Hi, this is Steve Hosher with Razor Gauge, and today I'm going to show you a new feature of our work order screen. Um, the work order screen is part of the standard Razor Gauge software. Uh, it doesn't cost extra to get it. It is accessible from the main screen by this button here, work order screen. Uh, so I'm going to click this. Now in the past, the work order screen was always designed to be a downloading screen where the cut list is created in the office and downloaded. It's our kind of a, it's our free download capability. It doesn't have as much capability as the auto list. It doesn't optimize or anything, but it didn't cost anything. And uh, we've always had that uh, pretty much since the beginning. But now we've made it so that you can create a cut list um, with quantities and count the quantities down from the screen. We've also added absolute mode and incremental mode buttons to the work order screen itself. In the past, you had to put the razor gauge in one of these two modes before you went into the work order screen to uh, make it uh, be a stop or a pusher. And that wasn't really intuitive, so we added the buttons here so you can change it back and forth. So here's how it works. I'm going to click Create New Work Order File. I have length and quantity. I'll say length of 7, quantity of 2, and add position and quantity to list. Then I'll add 2.25 and quantity of 6, add position and quantity to list. I'll add 75.5, quantity of 3, add position and quantity to list. So you can see it's really intuitive. Then I'm going to save the list and I will call it uh, new sample with quantity and I'll return to work order screen I'm going to open work order new sample with quantity open line number one length of seven quantity remaining two of two I'll hit pretend I now I can go into incremental mode and if I had this hooked up to a real machine I would click load button and the uh, uh, software asks me for the stock length and the amount of trim I want on the leading edge. Um, so I'll just accept that. If this was a real machine, the go would be lit up so I could press it. I'm going to just pretend that it went ahead and went. I'm going to click part was cut. And you can see the remaining quantity. We have cut one of two and I click it again and we've jumped to the next line number two here is the length the remaining quantity is six and as I click the part was cut it counts down until we get to the third line and then just continues that way so it's real simple but it packs a lot of power it's something that we haven't had for a long time ever because uh, the auto list does all that stuff for us but um, now we've added this nice functionality to the work order screen which doesn't cost extra so uh, let us know if you have any questions or if you want to upgrade to your software to include this new functionality. Um, thanks a lot for listening and have a great day.